Hey guys, Lizard Lee here for a Magnificent Wizard Day 8. So, there's the progress from Day 7. Woohoo! You can actually see it this time. So today's Christmas, and Tessa got some presents in her stocking. As you can see, it used to be Ruby and Tessa's. So, you know, we wish we were... You want to have them dumped on your head, Tess? Well, okay! Here and lay down. Yeah, lay down. Lay down. Everyone wants to see you with a no test. No. Turn around. Everyone wants to see you with a presence. Are you ready? Are you ready? <gasps> oh no, test. <laughs> uh, the kitty stocking challenge. Is that what should we should call it? Look at these mice! Test this! You've got more mice! Come on! Or maybe we can just pull them out this way, no? Come here! Come here, Tess! Look! You got mice! Mice! And you just jumped away. What are you doing, Godessa? Everybody, everybody wants to see you. Where's your mice? Go pull some scissors. Screw this. <gasps> yeah, Lizzie's got mice, huh? Okay. Why don't you hop back over on the bed, and I can throw these at you. Huh? Yeah. Ready? Up and over! No, no, Tess, no! Well, then I'll just throw them at non-existent you, huh? Do you want the mice now? You're looking, yeah! Oh, mice, mice, mice! Oh, mice, mice, mice! Oh. No? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Look at all these toys you got! Ooh, these ones have feathers, Tess. <gasps> Look at that. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. They fell. Your collar came loose. Hold on. There we go. There we go. Huh? Oh, look at the little polar bear, Pearl. Or don't. Just run away. That's cool. Oh, I like this mice. This mouse. This mice. What am I saying? Well, your, your toys are waiting for you, Contessa. They're just right there. And so you go and chew on one of my boxes. You a dork. <coughs> oh, come here. Ready? You can jump on them. You're like, Rawr! Rawr! and then run away because you conquered them totally successfully. Huh? Right on, Tess. Right on. Okay, so my laptop restarted when I was like a little ways through my narration. So if any of these sound like, you know, I've already thought them through, it's because I've already thought them through. <laughs> uh, I ended up not getting to start stitching until like freaking 1 p.m. It's Christmas. So, you know, we were opening presents and there is a little two-year-old who <laughs> he found one one toy he really liked and then it took like half an hour before he started opening the others. And then every time he got one, he wanted to play with it before he opened the next one. So, you know, it took a little while. Uh, I don't remember what else I talked about wasn't that important. So I'm just going to go straight to the questions. I didn't work today and I don't work tomorrow. So Magnificent wizard. Um, what do you think would be the hardest thing for you to give up on? So this one, I read it two ways, but in the end, I still came down to either the internet or cross-stitching. And either way, it's kind of a lose-lose situation because a big part of what I do now is floss tube, which is cross-stitching and then putting it on the internet. So, you know, like, 
if I lose one, I lose a part of the other. And that's just, that kind of sucks because I really enjoy both. So yeah, I don't, I, it'd be very hard for me to give up either of those. Excluding romantic love. When was the last time you told someone you loved them? So uh, after all the Christmas presents and stuff, my parents had called, they're my little brother. So I told all three of them that I love them. And then after I got off the phone with them, which you'll actually see part of, because I do a puzzle uh, when it, a little later, uh, in the video, I actually did the puzzle before the cross stitching time, you know, it's hard to cross stitch on black fabric when you're on the phone, but it's easy to do a little hundred piece puzzle while you're on the phone. Uh, and then I called my grandma. So my grandma would be the last person I told I love them. Uh, if you had to go back in time and change one thing, if you had to, even if you had no regrets, what would it be? I do have a regret. Um, when I was 10 or 11, whatever age it was that my mom told me to start shaving, uh, she told me to shave my legs and my armpits. And then I guess, I don't quite remember this, but I guess my sister told me to shave my arms. And when my mom found out, she had me stop. And that's why I have hairy arms now. Because, you know, anytime you shave hair, other than like, you know, on your head or whatever, it comes back darker and thicker. So, yeah, I would definitely not shave my arms. <laughs> Uh, imagine it is a dark night. You are alone. It is raining outside. You hear someone walking around outside your window. Who do you call? I will say it was much funnier reading this question the first time because I said winder instead of window. <laughs> I'm such a dork. Um, but you know, we have an alarm system in the house and uh, I have been in this situation where I was home alone. It was raining and you know, there'd be kids running around outside or whatever. So it wasn't just, you know, like one person menacingly walking by my window, but the walk, the walkways by my windows. So if someone's going to like drop something off at the door, you know, I always hear them walking by. Uh, and I didn't do anything. Like if someone tries to break in, you know, definitely I'll call the cops. But if they're just walking by, like whatever, <laughs> maybe because it's raining outside, they want to be under the, the overhangs on the houses so they don't get quite as wet. I mean, you can't just assume someone outside your window is there to kill you, all right? I'm just saying. Would you give a homeless person CPR if they were dying? So this one, I, I have to know that they're dying because they're choking on something. Because if they're having like a heart attack or their spleen ruptured, giving them CPR ain't going to do squat. And I'm not going to make a situation worse. Although it is better to be a good Samaritan in the U.S. where we have good Samaritan laws versus Japan where they don't. So basically you're in a situation, you, you pull up and there's a huge car accident on the side of the road. And, you know, you see like the gas tank is leaking. And so you're like, oh my gosh, you know, that, that person's car is going to explode. You go over and you pull them out of their car. You know, whether they live or die, you know, you know, whatever you, you, you were just there to get them out of that car to save them. Right. So say you're in the U S and that person had such bad injuries that they died anyways. In the U S you're a good Samaritan. You're good. You know, you did your best. You tried to help them in Japan where they don't have good Samaritan laws. If you pull that person out of the car and they die, that family will most likely sue you and say, you know, if you hadn't pulled that person out of the car, they'd probably still be alive. So, yeah, if you're in Japan, don't help people you don't know because they will probably sue your ass and they have the legal rights to do so. Whereas, you know, in the States, like a family could be like, oh, my God, you know, if you hadn't touched my son, he'd be OK. And you can be like, hey, you know, I was trying to be a good Samaritan and the law will back you up. So, yeah, help other people if you have the chance. <laughs> Are you old fashioned? OK, so for this, I was saying, you know, like I cross stitch, which most people see as, you know, an older hobby or whatever. Um, what else did I say? Oh, I, I do like it when the guy pays on the first date. After that, I don't care, but I do like it when he pays on the first date. I, I love it when anyone holds the door, the door open for me. Obviously, it's way better when it's a really good looking guy. <laughs> but, uh, <clears throat> I hold the door open for anybody. Young, old, male, female. I do not give a crap. I just think it, I just think that it's nice to hold the door open for someone like whether it's because you think they're weak or just because you're being polite like you know it doesn't hurt to hold the door open for somebody and this is the question I was on when it decided to stop on me so maybe I'll stop here and start again okay so 
Which would you choose? True love with a guarantee of a heartbreak or have never loved before? This is that question, the wording just confuses me. Like, would I choose true love with a guarantee of heartbreak? That I get. Or have never loved before. That makes no sense. Does that mean to, like, to never have loved before? To never love... So, like, to never have true love in the future? Like, I don't know what they're going for with that. So, I'm going to assume it means, like... Uh, well, because I don't know, because it says before. Like, so that's the past. I don't give a crap about the past when it comes to love, because... I haven't met my man yet, so, you know, uh, there is no true love right now, so, okay, I'm going to interpret it, which would you choose, true love with a guarantee of heartbreak, or no love at all, and, uh, I, I'm kind of in the camp of, it's better to have loved and lost than to have never loved at all, so I'm gonna go with the guarantee of heartbreak, because you know what, at least I will have amazing memories of that true love and then you know I'll, I'll know what it's like I'll know the kind of guy I want to be with and you know be around the kind of guys I just will gravitate towards you know I'll, it'll give me a better indication versus if you never love anybody like that's so that's so sad I just I mean I don't know I don't think everyone was put on this earth to find someone else but you know I I like the idea, you know, I, what was that myth that originally humans had like two heads, four arms, four legs and all that. And then they were split in half and that other half was, you know, their soulmate. So you go around searching for your other half. I, although I don't believe in that myth because that's insane. <laughs> I do like the idea behind it, you know, like you were created for this person. Like, I, I like that idea. It makes me happy. Uh, if you could do anything or wish for anything that would come true, what would you wish? Um, I would... Haven't I already done my wishes? I've already forgotten what they were. I'd wish I was allowed to wish for more wishes, and then I would wish for more wishes. Happy? <laughs> uh, deep questions to ask someone. Why is it only drug dealers and software developers call their clients users? <laughs> Oh god, like this sounds like a really bad joke. <laughs> why do drug why do only drug dealers and software developers call their clients users? Uh, I don't know why. Because it's a funny beginning of a joke that Liz doesn't know the punchline to. I don't know. Like, that just it just sounds like the opening to a joke. Um well, for drug dealers, calling them users is because they use the drugs versus most drug dealers don't use their their uh, drugs. I was trying to look for a better word, but I, I got nothing. Because, you know, I mean, like, if you look at the, the presidents of most, uh, like, smoking products, most of them don't smoke because they know how bad it is for you. So a lot of people who sell that stuff know how bad it is for you and they don't use, they, they don't use it. So the people they do sell to are users. They use it. Now, software developers, um, that one I'm not sure of, because I, I think even software developers use their own work, so maybe it's just because it's, like, computer jargon? I don't know. <laughs> it seriously sounds like a really funny <laughs> beginning to a joke. Does the Little Mermaid wear an algebra? <laughs> algebra, algebra, algebra. No, she wears seashells. Screw you, they're purple. <laughs> she has red hair and a green tail and purple shells on her boobs. Versus her siblings are all like, their, their shells match their tail. It's kind of unfair. But all of their names begin with the letter A. So, woo. <laughs> Disney trivia that you probably already knew, because that's nothing new. Do infants enjoy infancy as much as adults enjoy adultery? Oh my god, these all sound like jokes. And it says deep questions to ask someone. These just sound so bad. Because <laughs> adultery is when you cheat on someone. It's not like infancy when you're a child and adultness when you're an adult. Like adultery? Oh my god. <laughs> A lot of people who commit adultery regret it, so I would say no, but that's just a 
terrible question. Oh my God, these are so bad. <laughs> oh. How is it possible to have a civil war by having people in the same country with different ideals and they want to go to war over it? I don't understand this question. We're, America isn't the only place that's had a civil war, so that just sounds like a stupid question. I don't get what it's... I, I hate politics! I hate war! I hate things like this! Why? <laughs> If one synchronized swimmer drowns, do the rest drown too? No, because they're not dipshits, all right? If someone is having trouble, the other ones are going to break formation to save them. It would be better to not have someone die than to have someone die and get the gold medal, all right? Because that's going to just tarnish the rest of your time, and you don't want that. Why are these why deep questions? These aren't deep. These are wordplay questions. If you ate pasta and anti-pasta, would you still be hungry? Gotta be honest, I don't know what anti-pasta is. Is that, is that a math thing? It's, I'm not sure. I need to look this up. Sorry. I don't know what anti-pasta is. Anti-pasta? I don't even know if I'm pronouncing it right. Oh no, it is a thing. Before the meal, and is the traditional first course of a formal Italian meal. So... No, you wouldn't. You'd be very, very full. And if you're me, you would probably fill up on anti-pasta, because it doesn't take a lot to make me full. <laughs> if you try to fail and succeed, which have you done? You failed because you wanted to fail, and you failed, so yeah. Why are hemorrhoids called hemorrhoids instead of asteroids? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> These questions aren't deep. They're wordplay. These are so bad. Oh. <laughs> oh my god, I can't. I just, I can't. I can't. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> Why is it called tourist season if we can't shoot at them? Because not everything is about hunting, alright? Calm down. If the black box flight recorder is never damaged during a plane crash, why isn't the whole airplane made out of the stuff? Because it weighs too much. I'm, I'm pretty sure that's what it is. It's too heavy. You wouldn't be able to get the airplane up if it's all that material. Right? Isn't that it? I don't know. I could be wrong. I, I'm just trying to answer these stupid questions, okay? Give me, give me a break. <laughs> really deep questions. Why is there an expiration date on sour cream? Probably because it can get way worse than it is. If man evolved from monkeys and apes, why do we still have monkeys and apes? Because we evolved from different monkeys and apes, honey, not the current ones that we have. If all those psychics know the winning lottery numbers, why are they still working? Because they're not real, but people think they are, so people fall for it, so they give their money to said psychics. If, if a mute swears, does his mother wash his hands with soap? Uh, I don't think that, yeah, no. I think it, no. No, that's, no. <laughs> Why do psychics have to ask you for your name? Because they're not actually psychic. Okay, so what's the speed of dark? The exact same as the speed of light because it's the absence of light? I don't, what? These questions aren't deep. They're weird. <clears throat> and here is a list of questions I added that were not on the list. Oh, look, it's the exact same font as the questions. If you add your username to your ignore list, would you not be able to read your own posts? Most places, you can't add yourself and you can't ignore yourself, so it wouldn't be an issue. Why is there Braille on a drive-up ATM machine? Because maybe the blind person is in the uh, passenger side and they get out and walk up to the ATM machine to use it. I've had people do it who are totally like seeing and it's just, you know, because they don't want the driver to do it for them. So I don't know. Why do we park on a driveway and drive on a parkway? Because whoever named them is just weird. All right, it happens. If a pin drops in a noisy classroom, does anyone hear it hit the floor? Probably not, because it's really noisy and pins dropping are usually pretty quiet. 
Deep personal questions. Okay, this is about a boyfriend. This is about a boyfriend. I've already answered that question. Uh, uh, if you could make anyone in the room your servant for the day, who would it be and what would you make them do? So I'm the only person in this room besides Tessa. Does that mean Tessa's my servant or that I'm my own servant? Because technically I'm already Tessa's servant. I mean, she just went to the bathroom and I'm going to be the one cleaning it up later. <laughs> so no, I don't know. If you could be born again, would would choose to be a different sex to what you are? Not would you choose, just would choose. Um, ooh, that's a tough one. Because, like, I mean, obviously there are a lot of drawbacks to being female. But there are a lot of pluses. Like, a lot of guys are way nicer to me because I'm a girl. <laughs> but a lot of women are meaner to me because I'm a girl. So, I don't know. Like... I'd, I'd love to be a guy for a day and then see how it is and then decide from there. Because I really like guys, so I'd probably be a gay guy. And I know how hard it is for people that aren't straight. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. How far would you go with someone that you just met? Not far at all. What is the stupidest thing you've done because someone dared you to? Uh, I don't think I've ever done anything stupid because of a dare. I... I don't take the game that seriously. Usually it was just, you know, do something stupid. So, what is the stupidest? Th was that question about stupid? Yeah, it was stupid. So, like, I, you know, usually it was like, oh, run over here. Oh, do this. Like, it wasn't anything to be embarrassed about. So, I can't think of anything. Uh, what is the stupidest thing you've done on your own free will? Um, shaving my arms, I guess. <laughs> What's your favorite thing about the opposite sex? Uh, their arms. I really, really like guys' arms. <laughs> What's the worst thing about being your gender? The period. Duh. Have you ever eaten a leaf or grass? Duh. Have you ever peed in the shower? Again, duh. Have you picked your nose when no one was looking in a public place? Duh. Come on now. Deep, thought-provoking questions. Oh, let's see where this is. After eating, do amphibians have to wait one hour before getting out of the water? Wow, that's not deep at all. You know, people always say, you know, oh, wait an hour after eating because you don't want to get cramps. That's bullshit. All right. I, do, I go swimming right after eating all the time. It's not a problem. How can there be self-help groups? Because sometimes it really helps to learn with other people and to learn from other people. And they're teaching you how to help yourself. Oh my god, these aren't deep. These are stupid. If white wine goes with fish, do white grapes go with sushi? Well, I don't like wine. I, I've only had red wine, but it was super disgusting. So now I kind of like never want to have any wine. And then it's, just, it, it's expensive, so I just know. And then I hate sushi. So yeah, no, I'd rather just have the white grapes and everything else can go away. There's the if a mute swears question again. If someone has a midlife crisis while playing hide and seek, does he automatically lose because he can't find himself? These aren't even, these are like, if someone with multiple personalities threatens to kill himself, is it considered a hostage situation? That's not funny. I, that's not something I would make a joke about. I don't like these. Instead of talking to your plants, if you yelled at them, would they still grow but only be tr only to be troubled and insecure? I, why am I still reading? Is there another word for synonym? Similar words, but that's two words, so I guess not. I don't know. Is it a bit unnerving that doctors call what they do practice? No. Just before someone gets nervous, do they experience cocoons in their stomach? Oh my gosh, no. <sighs> these are so... These, I hope you guys are finding these amusing, or the fact that I'm not finding these amusing amusing, because I'm just so not amused right now. When sign makers go on strike, is anything written on their picket signs? Sign makers going on strike? Really? No, they just hire other people and they don't have signs. All right? Just whatever. The, the companies hire other people. When you open a new bag of cotton balls, is the top one meant to be thrown away? What? 
is, is this a play on when you open a prescription medication bottle, you open it and sometimes there's a cotton ball there? Because as far as I know, the only reason it's there is to make sure they don't fall out when you open it. Like, so no, that's no. When your pet bird sees you reading the newspaper, does he wonder why you're just sitting there staring at carpeting? No. Oh my gosh. Where do forest rangers go to get away from it all? Their cabin? Why isn't there a mouse flavored cat food? Because then it'd be they should just eat mice if that's the case. Why do they report power outages on TV? Because people are interested in it. They want to know how far away the power outage was, what caused the power outage, etc., etc., etc. Why are builders afraid to have a 13th floor, but book publishers aren't afraid to have a chapter 11? A chapter 11. Am I missing something? I, is there something about chapter 11 with book publishers that I'm not aware of? I... Because the thirteenth floor thing, usually it's not the builders that have an issue with it. It's because the people who go to the building, like if it's a hotel, they'll freak out if they're on the thirteenth floor because oh my god, thirteen. <clears throat> I don't, I don't get this chapter eleven thing. I'm, book publisher chapter eleven. I don't, I don't. What am I missing? Business reorganizations, essentials, freedom communications. Um. Border files for Chapter 11 bankruptcy. Yeah, I don't know. Am I? I I'm. I think I'm clearly missing something because I'm. Just, I, I don't get the joke in that one. The other ones I got and they just weren't funny. So I don't know. I don't know where I'm supposed to go with that. I don't. Uh, those got so bad. Oh, my shit. They're not deep at all. Oh my god. Oh, and of course my laptop restarts, so where are... Oh, now I forgot the hiccups! Where are the other questions? Because I had some somewhere, didn't I? <sighs> um, funny questions? Are these going to be the exact same as the deep questions? Because I'm going to be really annoyed if that's, if that's it. 350 plus funny questions to ask people, your friends, or someone you know. Do they bury people with their braces on? Uh... No, I don't think so. Usually they want to make the person as pretty as possible, and people generally look better without braces. How far east can you go before you're heading west? You have to turn around to, to head west if that's the case. Because, I mean, unless you're at one of the extremes, your compass is always going to be pointing the same way unless you turn. So, yeah. How does a real estate company sell its office without causing confusion? They get a new office, and they make sure everybody knows it. Duh. Do dentists go to other dentists, or do they just do it themselves? They go to other other dentists. Just like uh, someone who cuts hair, they get other people to cut their hair. That's why, oh, that's one of the, um, one of those jokes or whatever, you know? Like, you're in a town, and there are two barbers, and one of them has really nice hair, and one of them has really shitty hair. Who do you go to? You go to the one with really shitty hair because he cut the other guy's hair and it looks really good. And then there's another one, like a, a, a plane of Americans and Mexicans, it crashes right on the border between the U.S. and Mexico. Where do you bury the survivors? You don't bury survivors, you bury the dead. Oh my god, what is wrong with you? <laughs> um, what's another one? Uh... There, you know, there's there's a lot of those tricky ones where if you don't pay attention, you know, if you just listen and you assume what the person's going to say so you answer quickly, you're going to get it wrong. Uh, why does the McDonald's sell hot dogs? Because their burgers are delicious. They don't need to sell hot dogs. I don't. What? Is it like old McDonald had a farm and one of them was a dog? Is that what this? I don't know what this question is going for. At a movie theater, which armrest is yours? Both of them. I usually let the other person put their arm on first. Well, actually, no, that's a lie. I usually put my elbows on there, and then I put them near the back. So if the other person wants to use the armrest, they have the front. So, yeah, th this was horrible. I'm so sorry. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's going to be the end of Magnificent Wizard Day 8. Hello, contestants, but... You want to tell everybody how long that took us? Say two hours and 22 minutes of cross-stitching. 
And then puzzles and 3D puzzles. Yes, that's a nice butt you got there, Tess. It's a very nice butt. Yes. Your butt is amazing. Yes. <laughs> You're very happy about your butt, huh? Are you proud of your butt? Yeah. I'm sure you are. Yes. I'm proud of your butt, too. It's got a really cute spot right here. Well, hello, Contessa's face. Oh, you're giving me a headbutt in the neck, but still. Hmm. She is really happy right now. She is purring so loud. Oh, my baby. Oh, baby. Let me turn down the brightness on this, huh? Oh, you like your new color? Do you have a good Christmas? Huh? Yeah. Oh, come here. Come here. Go let everybody see you. Oh, no. Did I go too far this time? Oh, okay, we can, we can tilt it down a little bit if you want me to. What are you doing? You trying to get warm? Oh, are you cold? Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Today was Christmas, so... I started a lot later than I expected, because, you know... Takes a while to open presents, um, especially when you have your little you, when you have a little kid that would rather play with a Nerf gun than open his presents. <laughs> um, then I had a very late brunch, which is weird because like I have breakfast. The only time I can remember going more than one day without breakfast at a normal hour was my junior year of high school, in which I. I, I could only drink hot chocolate. Like, I couldn't have any food. I couldn't hold it down. It was really weird. Uh, my lunch stayed the same, but I did start eating bigger dinners that year, so I don't know. Everything went back to normal my senior year, though, so I don't know what that was about. Um, anyways. Then I started stitching, and then it got really dark really early, and I was just hurting my eyes. So, I pulled out the 3D puzzles. The, the actual puzzles that I did of the cats, I did before I started stitching because uh, my parents called and my little brother. So I was talking to them for a while. And then I called my grandma to tell her happy. I almost said happy birthday. Merry Christmas. Oh, you're ditching me now? No, you were so happy. You have to be here for the outro. We can skip ahead. Nobody nobody cares about what I'm talking about anyways, huh? Uh, uh. No. Okay, so, hold on, say, oh no, <laughs> say Merry Christmas, I hope you all love my collar, it's super beautiful on me, huh, is it beautiful, she's purring really loud, <laughs> uh, so, she's got her paw on my neck, Tess, uh, Tess, you trying to knock me out, huh, let me put my hand on your neck, oh my god, <laughs> Okay, so, like, subscribe, share, comment, all that jazz, and test out, and I will see you in the next video. Seriously, you are like, you are just purring so loud. What's up, huh? You're just happy I'm done with all the stuff I've been doing all day? Yeah, is that it? You just wanted your Lizzie's attention. <laughs> Tessa has dragon breath, by the way. She herself smells good, but her breath is like... <coughs> so... Oh, I'm only teasing. She has dragon breath. Very bad. I love you. <laughs> Do you want down? <laughs> dragon breath.